you you can't make this up. Look at this. It must be the eclipse in me because I feel like a monster today. Well, they said there's a solar eclipse today. Well, we all go blind. The last thing I want to lay my eyes on is this 2024 Alpha Male Julia Quadrifolio. We're going to take this for a drive because our last memories behind the wheel of the Julia Quadrifolio, well, it has to be today. So with that said, let's take this thing for a spin and let's talk all about the specific model that we could lose in the next couple of years. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Alpha Male Daytona Beach on the day of a totality. A solar eclipse is about to happen in a couple of hours. No, not the twilight eclipse. No, not Tyrese from Too Fast, Too Furious eclipse. A totality solar eclipse up there. So with that said, I wanted to come take a look at this because no matter what kind of eclipse there is, there's nothing that can stop the shine of the 2024 Alpha Male Julia Quadrifolio. Now you already asked, you've done one in red before. This is a completely different spec, a complete, a completely different shade of red, different wheels, different calipers, different roof, different interior. So I had to put this on the channel here because this is a completely different one that you guys have seen before. And obviously we're gonna take this for a drive. We have to experience the Julie Quadrifolio pops and bangs and everything before the rapture or everyone turns into zombies. So with that said, let's talk about this thing because it is going to be a phenomenal day. Now, before anybody calls me out, I know I'm wearing the wrong hat. I don't have a Maserati hat on. Alfa Romeo USA, I'm waiting for some new gear, so I will wear some more of that. I need, a, I need a full black one, but that's besides the point. All right, so this option out Julia Quadrifolio is kind of option out. It only has two options on it, but it's a completely different spec from the other one that we saw. So just to recap the other one that we've had on the channel, um, it was in Rosso Etna, upgraded paint, had upgraded technical wheels, it also had um, the Sparco Racing interior, had red calipers. So a few more things that this has here. So it's gonna be a little bit cheaper on this model here with only two options, but it still is a stunner. So I wanna show it off to you guys and see what you have to say about everything when it comes to the specific spec and the Julia Quadrifolio itself. Now keep in mind, if you're not familiar, we did have a facelift for 2024. So we have the new Tri-LEDs for the headlamps, they look very phenomenal. I will show those illuminated by the end of the video. You guys will see amber reflector because American spec, Alfa Romeo script, and the Quadrifolio Cloverleaf in there. You guys will not be able to see it on camera. Get in there. Oh, well, you might be able to see it, but get in there if you get a chance to see when I'm close and you'll see that there. Now, also we have the Scudetto done in the dark beat on flavor. All right, so you can see that there in that dark finish. Carbon fiber active front splitter. Yep, 70 miles per hour. This will actually retract for extra downforce. All right, so only one in the game, I believe, that does it and has been doing it since 2016. Now, you also have the slats on the sides, the new grill pattern as well, and then the aggressive front end. It looks very good with the Alfa Romeo Chalobo and Scudetto all together. Now, keep in mind also, this paint color is Alfa Rosso, which is just a gloss red basic red for Alfa male, but is a bright red compared to the Rosso Etna. So it depends on what you're thinking about when it comes to the specs because Rosso Etna, definitely a very high metallic flake to where this is just a gloss red flavor. Now the side profile here gives us 19 inch dark five hole wheels that come standard on the Quadrifolio models. You will also have the brake calipers and they are regular kind of, I wanna say like anodized black. They're like a weird kind of black color um, that are a standard color um, unless you option out anything else. And then the red script there, Brumbo brakes, drilled rotors, and the Alfa Romeo Insignia right there, done in monochrome with Pirelli PZL tires. For holding you on on the road, we will be using those a little bit later on. Now you also have the front fender with the Quadrifolio badge. Back in the day, we know that from 1929, a lot of history there. Also, you can see right there we have a functional grill for extra airflow. And then coming along to the mirror caps, done in gloss black with the uh, window moldings as well. We have a carbon fiber side skirt right here as well. That looks so good against this red. And then look up top, you guys know it, carbon fiber roof. We optioned this out. We've had a black one with the carbon fiber roof, but now we can see this option on the red and how much different it looks because it blended in with the black, but on the red, you can definitely tell the difference 
this is a big option we'll get to that in the sticker below but yeah that is the carbon roof with the shark fin antenna done in black so then you take a step back you look at all of it together that's just one hell of a car and you guys already know the back keeps the same flavor keeps the same energy as the rear but more aggressive to me i mean come on let's talk about it first the carbon fiber trunk spoiler that always looks so beautiful. I wish all Julius had these, but it definitely wouldn't make this as special because of it, if it did um, have it and all other Julius had it. But man, that looks really cool. For 2024, we got clear tail lights back. So you guys will see the clear tails with the LEDs running through them. Again, we will see those illuminated shortly. We have the Julia badge done in chrome, the Alfa Romeo insignia there as well. But then we have to come underneath. This aggressive rear diffuser is just like no other with the overall kind of look of the exhaust with the quad exhaust tips, but the overall surround that gives it kind of that like pear shape. It just looks really cool how they set this whole thing up and the functional cooling and airflow through there just looks really cool with the honeycomb grill there as well. So yeah, this, this is a beast. I love the way that this rear looks. Now, before we go underneath here, you guys will see that we have the nostrils here for extra extraction there. Yes, those are functional for that honeycomb grill. And then we go under here to the Legend. This is the Legend. Twin turbo three liter V6, all right? 505 horses, 443 pound-feet of torque, eight-speed ZF, carbon uh, drive shaft. I mean, this, this whole thing is crazy. With rear wheel drive, you're looking at a zero to 60 in about 3.7 seconds with a top speed of 191 miles per hour. The Cloverleaf, goes on their more performing models. This we will hear and experience in just a moment. And it could be our final time experiencing one of these engines. As we know, Alfa Romeo is gearing towards electrification because of Stellantis. They may back off of that. It may get pushed back. These were supposed to be the final ones. We're not exactly sure if that's the case, but if it is, if everything is over after these models we're going to experience them at least one more time and that one more time will be today i almost forgot how could i forget dry carbon underneath there as you guys can see okay all right now let's hear that exhaust note play the music now when it comes to fuel economy well for this twin turbo beast 2017 25 so 20 combined city and highway, 17 city, 25 highway. And just to remind you guys, premium fuel in this bad boy. Now the boot space or trunk space, as we like to call it here as Yankees, about 13 cubic feet. See that flies right up as we have a 40, 20, 40 split. All right, so those seats will go down if you need them to. We also have our battery stowed away over here. Floor mats here as well. And then underneath, we got a little false floor, but no spare tires here. We do have tire inflate kits, our jack, sorry, not jack, our tow hook, and our screwdriver. But that's about it when it comes to the trunk space. Again, about 13 cubic feet and some folding seats. Now let's talk about the interior. We've seen the Julia Quads on the channel, right? But this one's different from the other rider one we had because that had sparkle racing seats with carbon fiber backs and green and white stitching in Alcantara. This is your standard interior for the Julia Quadrifoglio in 2024. Black Nero leather sports seats, all right? So that's gonna be your main premise here, but we also keep the same new 3D carbon fiber for 2024. We have all the great things that we know from Alpha when it comes to the Julia Quad, and we also have some new stuff like the digital Speedo and a new race mode analog, or sorry, analog digital screen that you guys will see in just a moment, but it's still a great place to be just things are a little bit different. Let's take some time to start her up, put on the brake, red start stop button, and she comes to life. Beautiful leather wrap steering wheel, flat bottom, Alcantara in the inserts, and then an insert in carbon fiber with our classic and very historic cloverleaf badge with the aluminum siding as well. Then we have the aluminum paddle shifters, column mounted as well. We have our driver assistance on this side, and we have our menu controls here as well as radio controls as you guys can see here as well this thing is a beast now we can change our um i want to say 
we can change our outlook on this digital instrument cluster, but we'll do that in just a moment. Not using necessarily the view button over here on the very end. We'll use it using the drive mode selector. You guys will also see the turbine vents here as well with obviously the lighting controls, parking sensors, and start stop button as well. Beautiful leather on the dash and on the doors with the stitching there and the 3D carbon fiber trim, which is new for 2024. The wicker basket trim, I like to call it. The Harman Kardon sound system as well. Aluminum, soft touches on the armrest and stitching as well. Then we talk about the overall look and feel of this. Again, the sport seats, extra ball string there as well, heated as well, as well as the steering wheel being heated. Our 8.8 inch touch screen that we know since 2020 on this model. And we also can go through that, not just using the touch screen itself, but using this quick dial here down here in the central tunnel that's covered in carbon fiber with our drive mode selector, radio controls, our two track system, this wrapped in leather and stitch as well for the gear selector there. We also have our Italian flag there, our parking brake there, and we have a key fob holder with a couple of cup holders and extra stowage. USB 2.0 there, 12 volt plug-in, and dual zone climate control where you will find your heated seats and your heated steering wheel controls as well. And then going up here, you will see that carbon fiber insert with the leather as I spoke of, and then right there, a glove box. Now let's focus on our digital instrument screen here by going to advanced efficiency and seeing that that's your most fuel economy, you know, highway cruise control you're trying to save there all right so you don't you turn it over to advanced efficiency turn it over again there we're in natural mode everyday driving bumper to bumper bumper traffic for this kind of mode now when you want to kick it up a little bit you know you want to get on a highway you want to hop in front of anybody or just have overall great driving experience then you go to um, dynamic mode and as you guys will see and hear i don't know if you heard those exhausts but the exhaust valves opened up we got a different screen here it turned red for um the whole flavor and theme and then we're really getting into business now when we want to go crazy turn off our traction control our driver assistance and just be in the most aggressive craziest mode we're going to go into race mode now this screen is not on any of the other julia's it's only on the quadrifolio models because it's a race mode screen so we hold it over for three seconds now look at that race mode comes on your center tack is there and that's where you focus on your rpms because you're focusing on shifting and really putting your best foot forward when it comes to you know just controlling and driving this machine so we will take it for a spin um as you guys can see the dampers change as well in the different drive modes um but yeah this this is where you want to be if you want to have the most fun but obviously disclaimer don't use it on a public road okay that's your disclaimer now we got to step inside of this monster in the rear seats of course beautiful perforated sports seats done in nero the gray stitching as well backrest has netting we got indentions for the seat so i can get through you know with those knees there we also have the turbine vents as you guys can see and the usb 2.0 plug-ins with heated seating as well also and the doors carbon fiber the 3d carbon fiber the harman Kardon sound system to carry along extended leather on a dash and more gray stitching and then of course in the center we got a couple of cup holders other than that really simple back here when it comes to the julia quad it's just good fun now i did promise you we were gonna have those illuminated and as you guys can see the new tri leds with the headlamp there looks really good and i'm glad they were kind of behind some shade here found a little shady spot to really show them off in this florida sun also the mirror caps a lot of the amber turn signal the sun is getting the best of those there and then as you guys can see we have the led tails clear as well there take a step back look at those they look just as good and red as they do in any other color So if the totality of the eclipse happens and we turn into zombies or the rapture happens and we all disappear or some of whatever, I get to live my final moments in a Julia Quadrifolio. And uh, how can I not be happy about that? I mean, come on. Uh, this is one of those cars to where it doesn't matter how many times you drive it or experience it, it's gonna be incredible 
at all times. And I know I like to drive in advanced efficiency sometimes. I respect that for what it is. Natural, gets you around everyday driving. Dynamic, it's fun, but there's nothing like Was just in regular drive race mode let's do manual race mode you you can't make this up look at this It's just every single time. I can't help it. I want to drive in advanced efficiency. I want to drive in natural. I want to drive in even dynamic, but I can't. I have to drive in race mode or... get my fix. I am a fiend for what this thing does to me when I bang through these gears. How I feel, the gravity against me, the sounds going out, the exhaust, the clicks, the, I mean, Every time, see, it's, I, I, I want one of these, right? Either Julia or Stelvio. I'm afraid that I will go through tires once a week. I will go through a tank of gas in a day because I would be at every stoplight, every single stoplight like this. be the eclipse of me because I feel like a monster today inside of a monster as quick as this drive is this is all it needs to be I will be happy for the rest of my life That's it, that's, that's, that's my driving impressions. You guys have heard me talk about this car day in and day out. Okay, day in and day out each time. But really, I just wanna get behind the wheel. Not necessarily even to show you guys, I just wanna get behind the wheel for my own enjoyment because <laughs> why not? Why not? If you have the opportunity to do what I'm doing right now, you would take it. Words, they mean nothing. The driving experience is everything. That's it. You know, there's not much else you can say about this car that hasn't already been said throughout the years. No words. So how do we get to our specific price tag well we started at 81 370 for this 2024 julia quadrupolio rear wheel drive after the two options and the 1595 destination we're at 85 965 not too bad right because what we added was alpha rosso paint at 500 dollars for the gloss red and the exposed carbon fiber roof 2500 dollars everything else you see here is standard so there you are guys that is everything we have here for this quadrifolio model. Keep in mind, basic warranty, four years, 50,000, and powertrain, four years, 50,000, with roadside assistance. And then we come over to everything that's standard for this model. And again, it's everything you see here today, plus everything I did not mention. So make sure you guys zoom in on this, screenshot, do what you need to do to make sure that you see everything that this high performer, Julia, and this legendary sedan comes with 
for the 2024 model year. A lot of carbon on this side, so make sure you pay attention to that because that's the good stuff. But yeah, this is something serious. And obviously, again, any moment I get to get a new one on the channel for you guys, I will. I have to do my service as an Alfisti to get these on the channel and share them with you guys. And that's what I wanted to do here today. All right, guys, tell me. After seeing this car, after the drive, after seeing the options, specs, all that, what are you guys thinking about the spec of the Julia Quadrifoglio? Are you trying to get one of these in your driveway? I know I am. It's going to happen one day, I promise you guys. But with that said, drop the comments down below. What are you guys thinking about this spec in the model year? And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe, check the notification bell, all that good stuff, and check the links down below if you guys want to help further support the channel and the dealership. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.